I want to say a little something about those two trees right there in the center. They're both Dawn Redwoods. They're both the same age, actually. And at the time that my mother bought them for me to plant, uh, she bought two others, one's at the head of the pond, these two are below it, and one I put up on a hillside and something dug it out right away. But anyway, when uh, she bought them, she assumed that they were the same variety. Well, they clearly are not. But it's the one on the right. They're deciduous. They drop their needles uh, and turn orange, a little bit like uh, spruces, uh, black spruces, I think, larches up in northern Vermont. But anyway, uh, <coughs> the one on the right, I lost it. It was gone. I'd given up on it. I'd forgotten it was there. Um, and the one on the left, I was nurturing. I was keeping it going, protecting it from the cows at that time. Had quite an effort. But then a, a year or two after I planted them, I saw the one on the right. It, I saw it growing. It was no higher than my ankle. It was about the size of a, a water glass. And I thought, I can't believe it. It stuck around. And uh, it did. And I think in a year or two, it's going to overtake the one on the left. They both grow very fast. They're called Dawn Redwoods. And one of the remarkable things about them is that they were thought to be extinct. They were known from the fossil record, but then they were found uh, living in China. And now they're, they're not common, but uh, they've spread around the world, you know, through uh, gardeners. Uh, and in a way, the one on the right, its individual life uh, reflected the, the life of the species. Uh, forgotten, gone, people thought, but there it was.